Hello, wanted to record a quick video and talk about why you would want to move all of your measures into a single metrics table. If you're not familiar what a metrics table is, take a look at the way uh, my Power BI model is organized. You see that I have a bunch of tables on the right in my model and they all have this table icon next to the table name. But then metrics is not organized alphabetically. It's at the top of my, of my model even though M goes after B in English alphabet, and also it has a different different icon. So um, how do I create a metrics table? That's question number one. And there's many strategies to do this. One of the ways to do this, basically any way you create a table will work. Uh, one way that's the easiest way to do in Power BI is just to click on transform, da uh, transform data, or sorry, click on get data and blank query. That will create a blank query and then you will then take that blank query, uh, give it a name metrics. In my case, I already have metrics. So I'm going to create metrics new. And you just hit close and apply. And once uh, that happens, you see your metrics new table. And you will see right away that metrics new table still has the old, um, the old table next to it. And the reason that happens is because um, in order for this table to show up with the new icon and to show up at the top, what you need to do is you need to create like a test measure there. So I'm just going to create a, um, a measure test and say it's equal to one just for the purpose of uh, illustration. And then you need to hide the, uh, the default column in it. So you can right click and say hide. So now, uh, as long as you only have measures in this table and everything else is hidden, if I close this desktop file and reopen it, that, me that metrics new table will appear at the top and it'll have the same icon as you see here. So that's how you create it. The next question is, why would you want to do it? Well, there is uh, several reasons to do that. The reason number one, it's uh, organizing everything in one spot makes it easier for your uh, end users to find those measures. Yes, uh, if we have those measures propagated around all of our tables, we could click search, type the measure name and find it. But I argue that's not very intuitive. Uh, what you could do is you could have a standard uh, notation where all of your metrics or measures go into the metrics table and you could just do a training once for all of the users and they will know to always go to the very top and then follow the folders to find the measures that they're looking for. Measure, uh, the reason number two is um, uh, having that icon also helps me separate my attributes and dimensions from my measures. So that's just a, a, an easy way for me to train users that if I see a little icon calculator next to my table, that's where all my measures are. And the third one is going to be a little bit unusual. The third one is actually having to do with um, quote unquote performance. So if you have been working with Power BI Desktop and you've gotten your measure count to a respectable number, let's say a thousand, or some companies have gotten up to five, 10, 20,000 measures, and uh, look for my video on calculation groups as to how to deal with those issues. But uh, if you have a lot of measures like that, then um, you will notice that adding measures to your model will take time. Just a simple fact of creating a measure where x is equal to one could take seconds or sometimes minutes or maybe even, even more. So uh, what we wanna do is we wanna be able to create measures uh, much, much faster. Unfortunately, um, in the last several releases, Power BI Desktop has gotten slower and slower, slower, at least it seems like. So I've switched actually to a tool called Tabular Editor where I create all of my measures. However, eh, the way tabular editor works, I create all of my measures there, I save them into my model. For me to see those measures, I need to right click on the table and hit refresh. So if I had created all of those measures on a table, let's say I have this COPA table, let's say it has a billion rows. So for me to see those changes, I need to right click on the COPA table, hit the refresh, and then wait 10, 20 minutes before the table refreshes. So by me moving all of my measures into a simple simple blank table like metrics that allows me to very quickly uh, right click refresh and see all of the new uh, calculations that I've created outside of Power BI desktop, let's say using a tabular editor and move them and be able to see what they are and review them right away. So as I said, 
there's three reasons for us to do this. Um, the first two really, you could think of them as one, have um, cosmetic uh, usability flavor to them. And the second one has more to do with um, quote unquote performance, being able to create a bunch of author, you know, a bunch of different metrics outside of Power BI desktop, merge them back into the desktop, and then quickly refresh the table to see that they're there. Hope you found this video informative and please come back for the next one. Thanks.